Cristiano Ronaldo, more than a footballer. The best football player in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo, or CR7, is most definitely the brand we've been following for some time now. While in our previous video we've discussed some of his well-known achievements, his monstrous earnings, and how he elevates himself to the billionaire footballer status, I am here to reveal some insights of Ronaldo's life, maybe something you might not have come across before. But before we dive deeper into these lesser known facts about Cristiano Ronaldo, do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss a treat from us. <laughs> Imagine a son whose mother wanted to abort him, but she could not execute it. Thanks to the almighty doctor who refused her idea. A son whose mother drank warm beer and ran until she dropped when she was pregnant. This could be the reason why he runs faster on the football field. And later on, the son would gift his mother an expensive Porsche on her birthday and a $150,000 to the hospital who cured her mother's breast cancer. Yes, the very face of football was an unwanted child to his mother, who tried everything she had on hand to get rid of Ronaldo, but the world so wanted him alive, only to see him become the greatest football player, winning five Ballon d'Or and awards we can just list out until infinity. George Mendez, the agent, or we call it a super agent of Ronaldo, always played a pivotal role in his career. One of the most influential football agents in the world, George Mendez proved to be an angel, decoding uncrackable mega deals for the football superstar. From Sporting Lisbon to Manchester United, Manchester United to Real Madrid, and then to Juventus, all being record deals. A born trader whose football career never kicked off is now helping world-class players strike mega deals. Described as a bionic man, Mendes is one of the richest men in Portugal with a fortune of $113 million under his belt. Happily playing second fiddle to Ronaldo, Mendes has won the best agent of the year for 10 consecutive times from 2010 to 2019 at the Globe Soccer Awards. Having Ronaldo as best man at his wedding, and in return, he was given his agent a $50 million Greek island as a wedding present. George Mendez is probably the one we can trade our shoes with. While it is a natural law to give your son your name, it seems that Cristiano Ronaldo had to settle on a 15.28 million dollar deal to claim that birthright. Thanks to his best friend Ricardo Rigouf, also known as Ricky, who helped him win custody of the million dollar baby. While the mystery of the mother still continues, we need to wait for another eight years until Ronaldo reveals the identity of his junior's mother when he turns 18. Cristiano Ronaldo is no doubt a fitness freak, but very few might be aware of his fitness routine. Right from 3,000 repetitions of abs to a combined total of 23,000 kilograms of weight being lifted per day, equivalent to 18 cars. Cristiano Ronaldo follows an extremely strict diet as well, consuming more than 3,000 calories a day. Ronaldo never smokes or drinks, not to mention his father was an alcoholic and died due to liver disease when Ronaldo was a mere 20. Cristiano Ronaldo also owns a gym brand, CR7 Fitness, where he is an inspiration to the millions of subscribers they possess. The super-rich lifestyle of Ronaldo also has a super-rich heart attached to it. When we all know Cristiano Ronaldo has no tattoo on his muscular figure, as he is keen on donating blood regularly. What we might not know is that he is also a regular bone marrow donor. The idea came to him in 2011 when his Portuguese teammate, Carlos Martin's three-year-old son, was diagnosed with leukemia, a rare blood disease that required immediate bone marrow transplant. Cristiano Ronaldo stood up to the occasion, and since then he is a registered bone marrow donor. Nusat Gillian, the nine-year-old boy diagnosed with a terminal cancer, was brought to Ronaldo's attention and he tried everything he could to save him. That included paying for the experimental treatment in the United States and all his medical expenses in a private medical center over a six-month period. Unfortunately, the boy died in 2013. 
However, Ronaldo, on the other hand, is still holding on with Martinez, the seven-year-old boy who survived alone for 21 days on a sofa with his entire family already succumbed to the 2004 tsunami in Indonesia. What drove Ronaldo to fly and help him was the image of the rescued boy with the Portuguese football jersey. Needless to say, Ronaldo helped him rebuild his home and took care of all his expenses while the boy is in the race to become a professional footballer. A heartwarming story indeed. The kind heart has no boundaries. Until now, Ronaldo has auctioned his 2011 European Golden Boots, along with the 2013 Ballon d'Or trophy, for millions of dollars to raise funds for the war-affected Gaza and Make-A-Wish Foundation. Cristiano Ronaldo is an ambassador for many NGOs like UNICEF, Save the Children, and World Visions. He was named world's most charitable sports person in the year 2015. In 2014, when he helped his team Real Madrid clinch its 10th UEFA Champions League title, he gifted each of his teammates with a personalized Bulgari watch with their names engraved on it, each costing him more than $10,000. The Euro 2016 Silver Boot Award was won by Ronaldo for his three goals contribution, but he decided to pass it on to his compatriot Nani instead. Ronaldo recently made a $1 million donation to the hospitals in Portugal to fight against the ongoing outrage of the global pandemic, and at the same time, he also took a four-month salary cut equivalent to $4.8 million to help his club Juventus. The generosity of Cristiano Ronaldo seems to be never-ending. Impressed by the hard work and service, he left a massive tip of over $25,000 to the 10 hotel staff during his stay in the Costa Navarino Resort in Greece. The winger, with more than 100 million fans around the world, is a fan of the luxury and privacy that the resort offers, which allows Ronaldo to wander off the pitch without shutterbugs roaming around. Now let's have a look at some of his other interesting facts. Ronaldo was expelled from his school at the age of 14 for throwing a chair at his teacher, but little did he know at that time that his journey would be included in universities as an inspiration. Fourth-year sociology students at the University of British Columbia, Okanagan, Canada, study the life and career of the Juventus forward as a motivation. Truly an impactful player, he is. One goal that Ronaldo scored cost around $160,000 for Manchester United if we only consider the transfer fees they rolled out to acquire him. Cristiano Ronaldo never wanted the number seven jersey at first. He answered number 28 when he was asked about his preference, thinking the number seven would fill him with intense pressure, considering the likes of George Best. Eric Cantona and David Beckham, who wore it previously, but his manager Sir Alex Ferguson urged him to pursue it, and the rest was history. Cristiano Ronaldo was the fastest player in the 2018 World Cup with a top speed of 21.1 miles per hour. When Ronaldo takes a free kick, the ball sprints at around 60 miles per hour, spinning five revolutions per second. Ronaldo's nicknames include Crybaby and Little B. Interestingly, Crybaby was named by his mother because Ronaldo used to cry at a young age when his teammates did not pass the ball to him. Apart from football, Ronaldo likes playing bingo, while cooking remains his favorite hobby. A fan once broke into the football field to greet Ronaldo and was later arrested for breaching the law, but released after Ronaldo sent a personal letter to the judge. The highest jump in the world is around 2.45 meters, and it goes to Javier Sotomayor. But Ronaldo certainly seems to be from a different world. He jumps a record 2.56 meters in a match against Sampdoria. Currently, the living legend is back on his best form and putting the smiles back to his millions of adoring fans from all around the world, scoring freely and trying to help his Juventus team to win a Series A title. Well, that's it from the Luxurious Lifestyle Channel. I hope you did learn something new about the mercurial Cristiano Ronaldo from this video. If you do, please let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to support our channel by subscribing to it and liking the video.